why do I feel like it's been years? I feel like it's been absolutely years since I came on here, guys. It's only been two weeks. I need to really let myself off a little bit. But hello, hello, welcome back. It feels like it's been so long since I've said that. What the hell? I do feel bad about it, I'm not gonna lie. In my last video, I was like, oh yeah, I'll try and get another video out for you next week nearly three weeks later and i've still not produced anything hello welcome back to my channel it is so good to be here chatting to you guys i have really really missed it and do you know what i actually got a bit emotional because i put a question box out this morning and 90 percent of the response was you guys basically saying how much you'd miss my videos and i actually couldn't believe it like to this day i still can't really get my head around the fact that you guys click on my videos and actually sit and watch them I do find that really bizarre. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's just something that I, I think I forget. Like, that's why I've probably not put videos out the last few weeks because I forget that people actually do wanna watch my videos, which to me is just crazy. I think I'm actually gonna take my coat off because um, I'm warmer than I thought. It's actually just started snowing outside as well, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I just don't think I like my hair down. I don't know, like, I just feel more comfortable with my hair up. Um, but I thought I would make a bit of an effort and wash my hair and put some makeup on today for this video. And I just don't think I like how I look. Oh God, I feel like I just suit my hair, slick back and no makeup on a lot better than I do this. What would you do if you had this hair, guys? Because there's nothing of it. It's so thin. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to get my extensions back, but anyway, I'm waffling. I'm really, really waffling. I drove to Subway because I was really craving a Subway salad. I picked my Nana up a Subway as well. I just come back, I've dropped that off. I'm sat on the driveway. I'm going to eat my Subway. And I'm gonna to chat to you guys about the last few weeks, about my life, about what I've been up to. You've actually asked quite a lot of questions. You wanna know about Danny, you wanna know about the wedding. Shock, shock, shock. Basically, the last few weeks, I've obviously been staying at my mum's. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've not been at home. I left home on the 23rd of December and it is now the, couldn't tell you actually, it is now the 8th. It's the 8th of January. So yeah, I have really outstayed my welcome at my mum's, but I've had a few things on. I've been visiting Danny's family. I went to Peterborough to visit his mum's side of the family. I went to Swanage. I just got back last night to visit his dad's side of the family. I have something very exciting tomorrow in London. So I just kind of thought it didn't really make sense to go all the way back to Manchester to just keep coming down here all the time. And to be honest, I've really enjoyed the company, but I've obviously not made YouTube videos because I just didn't really want to shove the camera in people's faces. Like, I just felt a bit bad. My nana lives here. My stepbrothers live here. My stepdad lives here. Obviously, my mum. And it's just a lot. Like, the house is just a bit chaotic some of the time. So I just didn't really want to get my camera out. But I didn't feel like I could also put another vlog out without sort of sitting down and chatting to you guys um, properly. Because I feel like we do have a lot of catching up to do. I'm just going to show you what I've got in my salad, actually. I love a Subway salad. I feel like it is one of my small pleasures in life. Um, I've always loved a Subway salad. This... I mean, a salad's obviously meant to be healthy, but that, can you see it without me tipping it everywhere? Sorry, that looks so good. I get tuna, but I get the tuna warmed up. Um, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, loads of sweet corn I asked for, loads of pickles, gherkins I asked for, hot tuna, cheese, and barbecue sauce, which there's actually not that much of. So yeah, this could potentially go a bit wrong, actually. It could be quite messy, but we'll make it work. I'm a hungry girl. Firstly, how are you guys? How are you guys? Did you have a good Christmas? Did you have a good New Year? Let me know if you did in the comments. To be honest, Christmas for me, I like the build up. I like the coziness. I was gonna say I like putting a tree up, but I didn't even put a tree up this year. But Christmas for me in itself, I do find slightly overrated. Oh, I'm hoping that will change one day when I have a family of my own. But yeah, for me, Christmas, I don't love it. I kind of find the whole period a bit annoying. Like, I'm a summer girl through and through. I thrive in summer. I love summer. I love training in summer. I love going on walks in the summer. Christmas, winter, cold, rain, snow. Not for me. You get people that are like, oh my God, winter's the best season. Like, Christmas is the best period. Honestly, I couldn't be further from that. Like, I need summer. I need sunshine. The fact I'm sat in my car right now and there's drops of snow falling around me makes me really sad because i know it's going to get really cold these next few weeks i feel like i'm in that mood where i could sit and chat to you guys for hours but i don't want this to be a stupidly long video because i'm planning on actually getting it out tonight for you guys um today is monday so i want to edit it up and get it out for you this evening so you'll be actually seeing this on the day that i filmed it also with my salad i like to just like mix it all around um so i get a mouthful of everything sorry this is probably some of people's idea of absolute hell but oh, this to me heaven Mm -mm. 
I also got a cherry coke no pepsi max cherry don't know pepsi max cherry something like that but yeah like i said i've not really wanted to get the camera out i brought it with me i brought my laptop with me also also my plans did kind of drastically change because if you guys watch molly's video you know that her and tommy were planning on going away just them two and me and my mum were going to look after bambi here um so yeah my plans kind of changed there as well like i was really looking forward to having her i'm not gonna lie and when they were like no we're gonna take her instead i was like but no i'm really pleased they did um they wanted some time obviously just them two but equally i think they felt a lot of guilt going without her which i'm obviously yet to experience um maybe one day when, when i'm a mum i will experience that but yeah not gonna lie i was low-key kind of gutted that i wasn't gonna be able to look after her for however long they were going for i'm missing her an awful lot I absolutely love auntie life. I thrive off auntie life. I feel like oh, I did not know I had this side of me at all. I honestly thought I hated children. <gasps> can I say that? I can absolutely say that. Guys, I really didn't like children. I, I don't really like children. I don't, I don't really like children. I don't. Unless they're family. <laughs> family or close friends. Um, yeah. Kids for me, babies for me. I want them of my own one day but I don't look at all kids and be like oh but Bambi wow obsessed I think a couple of you guys did actually ask a question about when Danny and I want to have kids but we're both very much in agreement that we're too selfish right now we love going away we're always traveling we're always going off to do high boxes and stuff like that so yeah we need to get sort of everything out of our system before we think about settling down and having kids and I, I would, I've always said I'd like to be 30 I can't remember what I've spoken about my channel before and what I've not but I'm 27 now, 28 in April. I've always said I'd like to be around 30 when I have kids. Um, and he's very similar. So yeah, but speaking of Danny as well, this also made me emotional because you guys really care about him. <laughs> Either you really care about him or you really care about me and my well-being because you all just wanted to know how I was without him and when he's coming home and how he is and how we can talk and if we get to talk much. I told you he was going away for a long time, didn't I? Didn't I? I, I remember saying, guys, he's going for a long time. I can't tell you how long, but he's going for a long time. Um, it's, it's still the case. <laughs> still the case he'll be back in a couple of months uh ish ish we're nearing the halfway point and yeah i'm not gonna lie it's tough it is tough the first half i always find a lot easier than the second half um the last few months i've actually found okay and he's found okay as well because because we know he's going for such a long time you can't get sad those first few months because otherwise you're in for a very very long ride so yeah up until now up until like the last few weeks i've really actually been okay i found it okay we can talk um we can absolutely talk we skype <laughs> we skype um we skype call we skype message i can't ever call him but he can call me um so yeah we managed to talk most days we managed to have a little call in the evening most days so that's absolutely fine we can talk obviously i'm missing him tremendous amounts and i'm not looking forward to the next few months to be honest because that for me is when it drags however i have some really exciting things booked in in the next few months and i've kind of done that on purpose i've kind of done that so the time goes quickly so i'm really busy and occupied a lot of you asked how i cope without him and that kind of is how i cope like every weekend i'll have plans stuff in the week my mum and i have something very exciting coming up which I will actually come back to whilst we're talking about danny i might just quickly talk about the wedding that was probably my second most asked question the first one was um asking about danny and the second one was wedding hindu honeymoon those lines some of you were like please just give us something about the wedding i feel like i have though like i've not kept things about the wedding from you guys but i've just not really done like a wedding series you know how some couples do like a wedding series come view the venues with us come and do this with us blah 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 but i've just not done that because we've done it over such a long period of time now like we've been planning this for like coming up to two years like a year and a half but equally we've kind of not been planning it because we've not really I i've not found it hard if i'm honest i've not actually found it that hard like you book things here you book things there it all kind of comes together I don't have a wedding planner we're just really doing it together he loves to be involved like in a lot of couples obviously the woman's kind of planning a lot of it but he loves to be involved and he's made sure that anything i do or want to do i just check with him first which is absolutely fine yeah we are scarily on the six month countdown now less than six months um 
we're getting married in July in the Lake District. Most things are booked and in place. We just need to sort out like the menus and stuff. Invites are going out roughly end of the month. We've got about 100 people. Guest list has been something we've really struggled with because our venue isn't the biggest in terms of it can't hold many people for the actual sit down meal. Um, we have kind of struggled with that, but we're making it work. Luckily people are okay with what we're doing. <laughs> Guys, yes, I have found a dress. I said yes to the dress. I can't remember if I told you. I love my dress the more i look at it the more i actually love it and i've shown a few people and they're all like oh, i'm so pleased that i kept trying and kept going back um because yeah when i tried it on at the time i wasn't like obsessed but the more i look at the pictures and the videos of it i absolutely love it it's perfect it's very me yeah that is a big tick off the list i was stressed about that you guys know i was stressed about that um another thing i was stressed about is the hen not gonna lie we're still in the same position we were in six months ago whenever i started speaking about the hindu first i don't know what i'm doing don't know what i'm doing don't know who i'm inviting haven't got anything planned um but this is the month for hindu planning it really really is maybe maybe next month <laughs> and to be honest i might just stay on the same topic of what we've been talking about because i was going to talk about the honeymoon and stuff separately but honeymoon again not organized not planned not the slightest clue of where we want to go what we want to do but we always knew that we were going to plan it really last minute because yeah it's gonna be more expensive to plan last minute but also we don't know until danny's back we don't know what we're going to want to do together we don't know if we want like a relaxing all-inclusive holiday we don't know if we want a bit of adventure let's see we haven't got the first clue like i'm looking at um honeymoon destinations online to try and get some inspo but if you guys have any recommendations as well we kind of do want an all-inclusive relaxing holiday because we've not really done that together when we first got together we did that once but other than that we never do like a relaxing holiday all our holidays seem to be up and at it all systems go but not every day all systems go some days it's okay to relax and sit on your ass but we just don't do that very well do we i think the reason this whole wedding planning situation has been so cool is because we're both very laid back like we've not had set ideas what we want for the wedding either of us ever like i've never really been the person to grow up dreaming of like the perfect wedding and the perfect dress and the perfect cake and the perfect table like i am not very clued up i don't have a good eye for this sort of stuff um maybe i should have got a wedding planner for that aspect of things because i don't know what looks good we don't want to spend loads of money but equally we want everyone there that we love and care about but yeah that's probably all i can say on the wedding to be honest um, i haven't really got anything juicy for you um i've not got any gossip for you we're planning our wedding and it's all going pretty smooth <laughs> and yeah i just can't wait I, I can't wait for the day i am gonna quickly talk about high rocks because a lot of you were asking about high rocks not that it's my identity now but i feel like it kind of is it's kind of taken over my life. My identity is high rocks, but again, I'm so okay with that. I'd rather my identity be high rocks than going out drinking. So um, yeah, we have healthy hobbies in 2024. 2024 is the year for healthy hobbies. So my high rocks plans this year, where do I even start? In a couple of weeks, I have Manchester high rocks with my friend Fern, we're doing doubles together. We entered that ages ago. So that should be super fun. I'm looking forward to meeting you guys that are coming there as well because I know a lot of you have messaged me saying that you're doing Manchester High Rocks. That's done. Two weeks later, this is what I was going to say about me and my mum, we're flying to Vienna. My mum and I are going to Vienna for three nights or four nights. Three nights? We're going to Vienna for three nights. I'm doing High Rocks on the Saturday. We fly out Friday, Saturday. Sunday, we come back Monday. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. We come back Monday night, yeah, so three nights. It's the European champs in Vienna, so... I'm really excited to take part in that, just see how well I do, see if I can PB. So yeah, that'll be my second one this year, Vienna, Manchester, Vienna. Then we've got Glasgow at the start of March. Again, a lot of you messaged me saying you're going to that, so really excited to meet you guys. Make sure you come and say hi. Um, then Danny's potentially home after that. We really want to do, we want to do Berlin in April together as a mixed doubles because we've got the world champs in June, which we kind of want to get a bit more practice in for. We've not done one together since our very first one in Warsaw. We also want to do Copenhagen again because we want to see how well we've improved on the exact same course because there's obviously all the courses at different locations are actually different. So if we do Copenhagen again, we'll know it'll be exactly the same. We can see how much we've improved excuse me and then what have we got oh london um doing london in may world champs in june i think that's it <laughs> manchester vienna copenhagen berlin london world champs six i've got six booked in yeah world champs for me this year um i'd have loved to qualify by myself and there's still chance but 
I'm not holding my breath, not getting my hopes up about that. The fact that I'm doing it with Danny for me is enough. We've got a nice four or five days booked in Nice, which is where the world champs are. And you know, I'm hoping we're gonna do quite well. We've both been training really hard. That's another reason I'm really wanting to train hard as well, is to not let Danny down, because obviously we're doing that together and I would like for us to do as well as we can. Obviously, if I don't train, then I'm just letting him down as much as I'm letting myself down. But yeah, I am really excited for High Rocks this year. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep going at High Rocks. I'm gonna try and improve as much as I can. And I'm really, really, I hate saying that I'm proud of myself, but I'm really, really pleased that I have got as many of you into High Rocks as I have. Like, I did not expect that when I first started doing it. I didn't expect that so many of you were going to message me saying that you've entered it just because of my videos and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. I'm so, so glad that you guys are doing it and you enjoy it. And a lot of you have found my channel through High Rocks, which actually I find it so mad. I do think I get a bit overwhelmed sometimes with all this because obviously I only started my channel when did I start? Less than two years ago, like a year and a half ago. And influencing for me isn't obviously something that's come naturally at all. I have very much fell into it. And I feel very grateful of doing that, obviously, but there's still so much I'm learning. So, so much. Like, I don't know half the stuff that a lot of influencers do or go on about. I'm very basic with editing my videos. I don't really know how to improve on that. My YouTube channel doesn't actually have a a header like apparently it's meant to have a header picture i didn't even know that so i'm still learning as we go on and i hope you guys can bear with me with that i think i just went off on a bit of a tangent i don't actually know where i was going with that goals for 2024 I, again a lot of people have done like a full what is that my camera's too hot <gasps> my camera's so hot oh my god let me turn it off for a minute i think we're okay if the lighting's changed drastically it's because i've had to wait like 15 minutes to turn my camera back on because it was too hot. Yeah, it gave me time to finish my salad anyway because I wasn't really eating it when I was chatting to you guys. And now my problem is I can't actually remember what I was saying to you guys before my camera stopped. Was I talking about goals? We can talk about goals. Should we talk about goals? Don't really have any. Um, that's what I was saying. People sit down and film like a whole, what I want to achieve in 2024. The goals I've got, yeah, I've got some, but it's not like they're 100% my goals, like I have to achieve them. It's just things I would potentially quite like to do travel is a big one for me and Danny obviously both of us if we want to have kids in a couple of years time we want to get all our traveling done we want to see as much as we can this is why we are loving High Rocks because there is one in pretty much every city <laughs> most weekends so it's a really good excuse for us to go and do what we love doing but equally go and travel i would like to go a bit further afield as well like i've traveled southeast asia um i did like a five month little trip on a gap year it wasn't really gap year actually it was just when I finished school but um yeah I did all Southeast Asia then and I absolutely loved it but I was so young then and I don't really remember it so I'd quite like to do something similar to that maybe not Southeast Asia but another little traveling trip like that we want to do um is it the Dolomites is that what Danny said <laughs> basically I loved when we did Tour de Mont Blanc, obviously we didn't do the whole thing, but I loved that holiday. Honestly, that is probably one of my favourite memories, I think, ever. I had the best time, um, so I really want to do something similar to that. For, for me, those are the holidays that I remember. The lounging around by the pool all day, yeah, I do like to do that every now and then, but, but I don't remember them as much as I remember the ones like Tour de Mont Blanc. And we are both just so big on memories, like, I just want to create as many memories as possible. I want to be the fittest version of myself as well. I mean, I, I know I kind of normally am anyway, but... That really is just a massive goal for me this year, like just to achieve as much as I can fitness wise. But I feel like that's becoming a bit of a trend, you know, like people are stopping drinking, people aren't really going out as much. Um, and I am so here for it. I actually kind of got, not bullied, bullied's completely the wrong word, it wasn't bullied at all. I kind of just got a bit picked on when I was younger at school because I didn't go out with my friends. When we'd all just turned like 16, 17 and people were getting alcohol off their parents and going to like sit in the park and drink alcohol and when you just turned 18 going to the club like I didn't do that I was always doing exercise <laughs> I know it sounds kind of sad but like I was always that person at swimming club at running club at ballet prioritizing my fitness and I know when you're younger it doesn't really matter as such but it's always the way I've been it's the way I am now and yeah I notice like so many videos on TikTok and stuff of people starting running which is incredible I am obsessed with this whole thing that's going on with everyone like wanting to start running or wanting to start going to the gym like i'm i'm so here for it i'm loving it people wanted to do hikes like everyone wanted to go to the lake district and do hikes the peak district guys i think it's incredible i literally love it so much and i feel like it gives me hope for like future generations you know if we show people that are younger than us what's cool and that, that this is cool going to the lake district going to do this hike entering 
a 5k doing a park run like all this stuff is really cool then generations below us will think it's cool and they'll do it as well and we'll just have fitter healthier generations and hopefully i feel like it's gonna be a big change and obviously not everyone it's not everyone's cup of tea but yeah i am just noticing a change with things like that i also would like to just post a bit more frequently obviously before christmas i was posting quite a bit on youtube but i don't even mean just youtube like my instagram for me i'm not fussy with it but i rarely get pictures i'd rarely go out look presentable and get a picture other than when i'm with danny we're going out for breakfast we're going for a coffee we're going for a date night um so obviously when he's been away i found that quite hard but also i want to try and just post whatever i want to post on instagram like if i make a little video or post a reel i can literally i can post anything i just i just tend to not because um i don't know i think i'm just a bit fussy with maybe i am quite fussy with what i post i think having molly as my sibling and her being so successful in what she does and she's very clued up she's very knowledgeable on what works i try to also do that but i think for me that doesn't work because i don't really get pictures that well um I don't know it's a tricky one tricky one that I do want to just post more content I want to kind of find my niche a bit but also I don't want to just pick one area and go down that route and go stick to that area do you know what I mean like I like that I kind of do a bit of everything I like that I do a bit of fashion a bit of makeup here and there sport fitness camping hiking like I kind of do a bit of everything and I really want to stick with doing that let me know what you guys think on that because yeah it's, it's something I do think about quite a lot would you like me to just be like a fitnessy fitnessy influencer <laughs> definitely not fitness influencer but um yeah would you like me to stick more on that route or a bit of everything a bit of my whole life you know because i feel like my life stuff does better than my fitness stuff but then you guys know me for my fitness stuff so i just don't know what to do there if you, if you could help me out that would be really spot on but yeah that's kind of it in terms of goals like do well at high rocks be super fit and healthy but also have loads of fun travel loads eat yummy food post more content that's kind of it oh my god complete change of subject i can't wear mascara i absolutely can't wear mascara i was just looking there like my eyes do look very bald but whenever i wear mascara because like when i smile i get basically it just smudges under here does anyone else have this problem like i could go out on a night out or put some mascara on go out for the day two hours later i'll go to the toilet look at the mirror and i've got smudged mascara all under here so solutions for that i'm quite happy not wearing mascara i don't really like wearing it anyway but yeah i don't know if my eyes look really bald like my mum says god you never wear mascara do you yeah i don't know what to do that i don't want to get lashes i definitely don't want to do that but um can't decide if i need mascara or not i've actually had this wasn't something that someone said recently but i've actually had a few messages over the last few months of people telling me that i should go on sas who dares wins now for me that would be the dream i think that has got to be my dream program to ever go on not that i probably ever will go on it but if i could go on a show you know you've got strictly you've got dancing on ice i'm a celeb mine would definitely be sas who dares wins i think i'd do so well i think i might win <laughs> guys i think i'd win sas who dares wins well I, I i technically i should i should win it because i was in the army um oh the dream that would be the absolute dream rolling around in the mud leopard crawling doing all these like cool challenges being interrogated like i have actually been interrogated before um i remember we had this like cereal in the army this was in basic training oh and it was so good it was this thing called night stalking um so you go at night you've got all your kit you've got your weapon you've got your webbin you're in your helmet it's pitch black and you've got to get from one location to another location where the enemy are and you have to all split up you have to be by yourself and you have to do it without getting caught and there's like sniffer dogs that go around and i was the first person to get there and when you get there you have to like shoot them obviously fake shoot them and then they came out and they dragged me out of the bush and my corporal at the time he was like shouting me he was like what's your name blah, 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 blah. and i was just standing there i wasn't responding to anything he was like where have you come from who are you with oh god i always remember that it was so good but i did really well at that i feel like anyone in the army right now that's watching this is going to be dying of embarrassment with me telling that story danny if you're watching this I'm sorry i know this is so cringy to hear me talk about but i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it so yeah sas who dares wins me the dream oh isn't there another program called hunted or something um no not hunted love to do the program with danny where you have to get from one place to the other and you can only use public transport or something yeah, i feel like danny and i would be really good at that this thing that i've got tomorrow guys i really wish i could tell you what it is but it is a shoot for something and it actually makes me laugh like it's actually making me laugh i'm i'm being pictured 
<laughs> I'm being picked in for something. You're gonna die. You, you're all gonna die when you find out what it is. I really wanna, I wonder if I could tell you. Basically, I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I'm gonna pick up my camera. I'm gonna vlog the starting the week tomorrow because I wanna show you bits of it. Obviously, I don't really think I can show you much at all, but no, when I found out, I wanted to tell you, I told my friend this morning she's literally sent voice notes laughing her head off because it is just funny like it's me it's funny but also like, i feel really i feel really super pleased that i'm getting the opportunity to do this it is a dream it's an absolute dream but also me like i'm just so awkward like other than being behind this camera with you guys right now a camera in front of me i just cannot i cannot thankfully i'm not having to talk it is literally just pictures but yeah, I can't wait to tell you guys what that is. I feel like I've waffled on so much. I don't know how long I've been in this car. Let's have a look. Um, oh my god, not even that long. I'm just going to have a quick scroll on my Instagram now to make sure there's nothing that I've missed off. Nothing that you guys desperately want to know about. Wedding cake, flowers, pics. No idea. No idea. No idea. How many who your bridesmaids and flower girls. Uh, I think I've answered that before, but I've just got Molly and Molly, Danny's sister. What's your training looking like this year? Matri by High Rocks. Again, spoken about that. It's all very, very similar stuff. My camera's just come up with the temperature warning again. So that is probably a really good time for me to love you and leave you. If there's anything I've missed off that you guys desperately want to hear me talk about, leave it in the comments. And I'm literally going to start a vlog tomorrow. So I will answer them for you then. I'm super pleased to be back on my channel. I've, I've, I'm talking like I've been gone months. It's been two weeks, nearly three. And it's really dark. How long has it been that dark for? Oops. But yeah, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed filming it. Obviously, it's going to be a super fun year. And I am so, so grateful that I get to bring you guys along with me for the ride. I do feel like we've got a little bit of a YouTube family going on now. Like, <laughs> It's so mad to say that. I never thought I'd be saying that in a million years. But I really do feel like that. And YouTube for me is my favourite platform. I feel so connected to you guys. And the comments are always so lovely. Like, it is, it is the nicest platform. It's the most warming platform. It is the platform where there's the least amount of hate. And, yeah, I really appreciate you all for that. So, yeah, thanks so much. I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye, guys.